next news is out of Germany. Germany shooting. Gunman kills two after attacking synagogue. A man dressed up in camo goes up to a popular synagogue where they were holding a, um, a very large, not not a rally, but they were they were observing a Jewish holiday. Uh, so there were obviously a lot more people present than usual, um, and he was anticipating this. He was dressed up in camo. People, witnesses on the street who saw him, thought that he was a part of the military. Um, didn't really think much of it. He had guns with him, um, dressed up like somebody in the military. Um, however, it started getting weird when he was trying to get into the synagogue but couldn't. It was locked, and he became increasingly frustrated. And he just pulls out a gun and shoots a lady. Right. Wow. And then uh, starts getting more upset. People start coming to see what the gunshot was. He shoots another guy. He throws what uh, people thought were was a grenade into um, a, a building when it didn't go off. He just started firing at everybody in there. Uh, two people were taken to the hospital to um, get treated for gunshot wounds. Several others were injured and two people were unfortunately shot dead. Uh, the motives behind this aren't exactly clear, but they do believe that this was politically motivated, religiously motivated. Uh, or race, religious or race? I think it would be mostly racist than religious. When it comes to Jewish people, it's mostly racist. Now, it's not because like people's disagreement with Jewish theology. So I think it's mostly racism. Uh, but by the way, guys, uh, just a warning. Uh, don't judge based on news like this that anti-semitic attacks are rising in Europe anti-semitic attacks are rising in Europe but you should you you, sh you should look at statistics to decide that don't judge it based on saying articles like this right don't don't go th when you're going through your newsfeed and you see like oh more of this showing up on your newsfeed like oh another attack another attack that's not a good way of realizing that oh these attacks are on the rise. It happens to be true that the attacks on you know on Jewish people are on the rise, um, but story anecdotal stories like this is not a good way of deciding that. Okay, so just um, you just asking did they catch the man? So the man was actually um, doing this live um, on social media. So they he wasn't trying to hide who he was at all. He wasn't. Um, they they absolutely caught him. They know who he was. Yeah. Sorry. Um, where is this? And they have some of the strictest gun laws in Europe. Oh my God! Somebody's taking making this about gun stuff. Somebody's saying pointing out that Germany has some of the strictest laws. Okay, here's another thing I want to warn about you about. Derek is saying that and they have some of the strictest gun laws in Europe, right? So he's pointing out that gun laws don't work because obviously this guy got a gun and you have strict gun laws in Europe. So what's the point of gun laws? Again, you can't judge based on whatever side of the argument with regards to gun laws you are. You can't ju judge by anecdotal evidence whether gun laws are working or not. So you could, if you just look at this story and be like, oh, you have strict gun laws in Europe and this guy shot two people. So pff, forget gun laws, right? No, you look at data. Just because you can find examples where gun laws didn't stop a shooting, that doesn't mean gun laws don't work. If you look at statistics, maybe, maybe attacks have dropped significantly, even though not to zero okay you don't judge based on rant stories that you see online you actually have to look at the numbers um again what even if you think gun laws don't work don't be, like i mean don't be don't make your arguments based on one or two stories that you see or even you know many stories that you see because even if you see many stories the way that you collected stories is not randomized it's not unbiased you know we cannot control our bias most of you know people that collect statistics if they're good sources they probably they, they adjust for all of that right so again um do you guys want to add anything no okay well uh i wanted to say this like uh here's the problem with this news that i think the right wing can probably come out and play video games again because the site in which he streamed the video, it was a gaming site, Twitch. Twitch. It was uh, a Twitch? Yeah, it was Twitch. It's mainly used by gamers, so there's a chance that the right wing will come out and say it's video games again. What do you mean? I mean, they, they oh, try to connect right any shootings to video games. To video games. Okay, yeah, yeah, yes. they always do that. I mean, we have data that shows that that's wrong, right? So, right. Yep. 
Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.